Welcome back to The Morning Toast. Jackie and I are humbled, honored, and just like so excited for our guests. We have all three castmates. We've got Aisha, we've got Katie, we've got Megan from The Bold Type, you guys. Thank you <laughs> so much for being here. We've been talking about your show for the last two weeks on the podcast. We are obsessed. And now you're here. Final season's premiering in two days. Like, we're devastated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people, pe people are pretty sad about it. Well, that leads me to my first question. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, f free form. <laughs> I mean, question yeah, mark? We do getting canceled, no. you know? No, it's we weren't. We weren't. That's the thing is like, I think that it's really cool that like, I've been on a show where we have been canceled before it's the time and we don't get to get the chance to like wrap it up. And so I, I think I speak on behalf of the three of us when I say like, we are very grateful to Freeform for giving us a season, letting us know it's the last one, letting the writers know it's the last one so that they could like really wrap up the stories and like, give these characters and us the goodbyes that we wanted and deserved. Yeah, yeah. and you guys, you For really- sure. Five seasons is like so cool. <laughs> no, it's amazing. And to be able to end on your own terms is always ideal, you know? But I think for some of us, it's just like upsetting because like we have yeah. found comfort in the show and in the development of your characters, but also the characters around you, like Jacqueline and Oliver. And I just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do without my gals. Well, you could rewatch the show. Yeah, I already did. <laughs> Again. Have you finished filming the final scene yet? Yeah. So how do you feel about the way it ends for your character? Like, do you feel, do you feel good about it? I definitely do. I think people are going to be happy. We better with you. With you. We better. I'll be so upset. Seriously, unforgivable if we don't see a Sutton and Richard. Like, I get that you had to play with us in season four, but, like, obviously you guys are OTP, and if that doesn't work out, like, just know, like, I will be upset. Wait, what's OTP? I don't know what that is. One true pairing. One true pairing. I learned this recently. <laughs> oh, cool. And that's, like, what you guys are, so I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm glad we got an option. Yeah, what about you, Aisha? How, how are we feeling where Kat ends up? I was actually very surprised. <laughs> I was not expecting it. And it really happened so fast. I was like, what? Cool. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I mean, I feel like the show is successful for so many reasons. But for us, like, I feel two really strong ways about the show. One, I think you guys incorporate social media and just, like, influencers in a really natural way where sometimes, like, you hear, like, TV shows like Emily in Paris, like, talking about influencers. And it's, like, so cringy. You could die. So I feel like <laughs> it actually makes us feel seen. Like, I mean, yeah, you guys actually, like, that is how it actually is as an influencer. And I think you guys really handle like controversial topics in really approachable ways. Like one of our favorite episodes was Betsy the Gun. Like it was so funny, but it was Betsy. also like Betsy, my girl. It was valuable. I just think, yeah. And like when you guys are filming those episodes, like do you guys know like that it's gonna? Be, it's like so funny, but it's also very accessible talking about like hard things. I I think that we've always you know, there are some times where we do something that's a controversial topic and we're like, Ooh, I hope that this it goes over the way it's intended. But I think we have always been able to show the gray area to these topics to be like, oh, you can actually sit and disagree about something and be able to have a conversation about it and, you know, come out the other side, maybe with with more knowledge and feel more educated about where somebody's coming from. And, you know, I think that that's important in this day and age where like so many people just want to live in an echo chamber and don't want to challenge themselves to like think about how other people feel or might feel differently. Um, so I feel like we've always handled that. And we have always gotten messages from fans being like, we paused the show and like me and my friends talked about it. And I think that that's like so cool to have that effect. Yeah, yeah. it's super valuable. And also like, another element that I just feel like really elevates the show is the wardrobe. And Jackie actually pointed something out to me that I thought was so interesting that like some of your characters have worn the same thing more than once, which is like how actual girls who work at a magazine live and just like normal people. And so first of all, I love that. And second of all, do you get to keep any of your clothes? Cause like they're all so stunning. <laughs> we were able to buy some of them this final season. Um, and we did half, that half off. <laughs> 
Which, by the way, for most of the stuff that we wear is, like, still a pretty penny. Like, yeah. it's yeah. not... But that was, like, one of the cool things about it. It's, like, the, some of the stuff that I took home, like, I would never buy for myself. So it just felt like a good opportunity. You know, they, like, tailor everything to our bodies and stuff. So why not? That's true. And so where do you guys film? Montreal. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, so like the yeah, the outdoor scenes, the outdoor scenes. I mean, in season 1 we did get to go to New York and like film for a couple of days, but apart from that, like there's a park in Montreal that like we cheat as Central Park and That is so interesting. Oh, Right. I can tell because of the scaffolding and I really miss it. Wait, literally, they've been putting up the scaffolding in front of our like beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, our beautiful window. And it's like, hello. And there's like construction. Usually during our show, you'll see like a bunch of hot construction guys just like working on. I love it. Show. Dude, look at this door. dog. Oh, this is Theo. He's a huge fan. He watched the whole um, series with me a couple weeks ago. And <laughs> he had some thoughts, but overall, he's really pulling for Sutton and Richard. So hopefully you can make that work for him. <laughs> for Theo? Yeah. Theo? Okay. Yeah. I'll put a call in <laughs> on Theo's behalf. So the new season premieres in two days. How are we feeling? Are we, we're obviously sad. We're, you know, bittersweet. But how are you guys feeling about the final season? I'm excited. I think it's great. I think yeah. people are going to like it and Sorry, Meg. we're all ready to kind of like give it to the world and then sort of move forward down the road. Yeah. We're you ready. Film this season during COVID. Did that change how you were able to film this stuff? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Take it away. Calls. Take it away, Aish. Oh. oh. All right. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, it changed it a lot. But, you know, what's nice about it was we knew what everyone's face looked like, you know, from their nostrils down because we've been really blessed to have a lot of the same crew for all five seasons. So I think it would have been a lot harder if we didn't know everyone already and have like cultivated relationships with them. So we all kind of helped each other through it. But yeah, it was really hard. Like, you know, that's part of the reason why I love my job is that I get to feel like I'm in the circus and like talk to people, <laughs> hug people. And um, so that, that was really difficult, but you know, we got through it and I'm so like, I mean, I speak for all of us, but I feel like we're also grateful that we got to do it because um, you know, these are like interesting times. So we're very blessed. For sure. <clears throat> well, we're grateful that you got to do it because we're so excited. The new season premieres on Freeform on the 26th of May. So we will be watching. <clears throat> thank you guys so much for being here. We are obsessed. Like, thank you for the work that you do for the culture, for the community. Like, we love you. Thank you guys. And thank you guys for listening. We will see you tomorrow.